So the world's first cannabis friendly gym is opening. Not that soon. So this cannabis friendly gym is going to be located in San Francisco. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Fuck it. And it's going to be called Power Plant Fitness. And no, it's not what you're thinking. Come on, one more. Ten. No, no one's gonna be taking bong rips while on the treadmill. No one's gonna be fucking passing joints while doing bench. None of that ignorant shit is going to happen. And if that's what you thought, or if that's what you were hoping for, I'm sorry for fucking ruining your day. Now, I'm sure there are actually plenty of ignorant people who are already still caught up on the fact that we have weed and gym in the same sentence. I know for a fact, I know for a fact, there are plenty of fucking people that still hold on to that old stoner stereotype where cannabis users and all cannabis users just sit on the couch after smoking weed and face a whole family sized bag of Doritos. Now, I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with that since, I mean, I've done that plenty of times, let's be honest. But all I'm trying to say is that not all cannabis users fall under that old and outdated stereotype. Cause let's be honest, that stereotype is fucking dumb. There's all fucking different types of cannabis users, and there are many of them that actually use cannabis as a way to enhance a healthier lifestyle or enhance their daily activities and don't just order large pizzas like myself. Yes, again, some people do smoke weed and they chill out and all they want to do is, is relax and eat or whatever. That's fine. But that doesn't apply to every fucking cannabis user. So this is how Power Plant Fitness is looking to change that fucking dumb old stereotype. So Jim McAlpine, I think that's his fucking name. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Um, it could be McAlpine, but I'm gonna go with McAlpine because I already said it. I'm already in it too deep. Jim McAlpine is the founder of Power Plant Fitness and he also actually started the 420 games, which if you haven't seen that, please go check that out. It's another amazing event uh, that is looking to change the stereotype and outlook of cannabis users. McAlpine is actually one of those cannabis users who defies the stereotype. McAlpine has used cannabis as a tool to help him lose weight, eat healthy, and just focus on his overall well-being, which is fucking great. I mean, a lot of people do actually do that but he is trying to influence others to try it out or even just open up the eyes of the rest of the world to show that cannabis users are out there who constantly do this every fucking day and just include cannabis as a tool of their entire wellness ritual or regimen. I, I think, yeah, either fucking word probably works. Okay, I kind of got sidetracked again, but you know, Fuck it. Now going back to Power Plant Fitness and how it's going to help people understand how to utilize cannabis for their workout plans or their overall lifestyle. Now again, I want to be very fucking clear that this isn't going to be somewhere where people walk in and just start smoking weed while working out. That's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Now don't get it twisted. There will be a place in order to consume cannabis. However, it's going to be a separated area within Power Plant Fitness. Which is pretty fucking sweet. However, what's even more fucking awesome and is something that I'm really excited to see play out is that Power Plant Fitness is going to be doing a cannabis performance assessment for all of their members basically starting with like a baseline workout. So basically each and every single member will be able to understand how cannabis works best for them and for their own personalized protocol. At least that's how I understand it. I could be really fucking wrong, but essentially they're going to be showing people depending on who they are, their age, their their weight, their their fitness activity, everything else, their history, basically how cannabis can be used best for them and their workouts. All this shit is just so exciting because obviously this is the world's first cannabis friendly gym and this is just an amazing way for people to understand how to use cannabis as a wellness tool for their own benefit and for their own personalized wellness journey. So I just want to give my thanks to Jim McAlpine. Again, I don't know if that's how you say his name. Again, I fucking apologize if that's not the case. But people like that and all these other cannabis users making the difference of crushing that stereotype and 
taking this approach to showing people cannabis can be used so much more than what they ignorantly perceive to begin with. So I'm really looking forward to the opening of Power Plant Fitness. I think it's opening in late 2017. Not exactly sure if there's a date yet, but I'm just also really looking forward to how it can improve a lot of people's lives and just seeing the impact that this type of establishment may have because again, it's the first of its kind. So, yeah, I gotta get my fucking ass to San Francisco. Anyone wanna fly me out there? No? Okay. I'll go fuck myself.